Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today I'm going to be doing a um, book review of the Book of Blessings and Rituals by Athena Paracas. Um, so, this book, let me just start by saying it's uh, visually very appealing. It's got a nice hardcover. Um, it speaks to it um, pulling from many different uh, spiritual backgrounds. It's got like a like a glossy kind of page or a semi-gloss kind of page. Um, and then it goes through each month of the year. Let me see, can I? Yes, I can zoom in. I'll zoom in a bit so you guys can see. Okay, it's got an introduction. And then January, month of new beginnings. It has a blurb about each month, um, a prayer, an invocation, and a blessing, invocation, just different ideas, affirmation and activation, a project, which is an intention altar, law of attraction, visual, uh, 3D visual uh, vision board. None of these are bad ideas. Um, February, the month of new and universal love. So we have a blessing, an invocation, Invocation of another project is a love draw medicine bag and it tells you how to do that. Um, I'll just go through each month. So, emerging life. Um, uh, so, of course, this is aimed at the, the northern hemisphere. Spring equinox, uh, becoming the mother. Spring equinox ritual. Balance grid. Gives you an example. April, the month of healing and wellness. New moon healing and balance. Recovery and addiction blessing. Physical wellness and vacation. Home healing altar project. Flower and herb mandala. May, the month of prosperity and power. It just, it goes through all of these um, each month in this way. Um, I... I don't find myself using this book at all. It's just doesn't align with what it is that I am um, working on and doing and and not the depth or the understanding. And I'm not saying that I understand more than this person. Just like that our understandings are not resonating. Um, which is not to say that I think that any specific thing in here is wrong. It's just that um, none of these spoke to me. None of these really um inspired me it was it's definitely going to be um a very good primer uh if i find myself using that book a lot primer um 101 book for for many people um and so that's what i think that that this would be ideal for like if somebody was just interested in how they can be more intentional about their time, how they can, it, it doesn't even really talk too in depth about the turning of the wheel or what that means. Um, so just like I say primer in that, like I would not even consider this a 101. I would consider this um, a very nice book for those who are curious about uh, magical living throughout the year. This is a, a decent place to start. I wouldn't say it's an excellent place to start because it does um, lack quite a bit of information. Um, honey jars are one of my favorite. Uh, but, you know, it, it's definitely got a lot of um, different ideas for all different uh, backgrounds. And, and what I think that this book would excel at is if you, if you were interested in this kind of work, it would be a very nice primer and you might see like oh an ancestral altar that really speaks to me and then it would give you like a launching off point to do a deeper dive into that specific topic so a lot of things are presented very briefly in this book at um times that would be appropriate uh you know at suggested times during the year 
which could inspire you to take a deeper dive into that topic and really get into a more one-on-one -on -one or intermediate book about said topic. But if you have been studying or, or, or researching or practicing this for any set amount of time, this book would be too easy. This is very much a not even an, a 101. It's a like a very an introduction um, for the spiritually curious. I would not even say that it's um, very witchcraft oriented. Not that witchcraft has a religion, but it just it's it's very for it's very broad, broad strokes. Nice intro. So that is uh, the book of blessings and rituals by Athena Paracas. Um, I'm probably going to put this book up on my website at some point for sale. Don't quote me though because I am so behind guys. School is harder than I thought. But anyways, I made this video. I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you soon.